A 911 center in Texas knocked offline. Culprit, the so big worm. Next victim, a home user whose Windows XP machine keeps crashing. It just kept shutting down on me. Culprit, the blaster, or love sandworm. Air Canada's reservation systems crashed, causing flight delays and long check in lines. Culprit, the natchy worm. So many viruses in such a short amount of time. In you know, the last week, last week and a half, we have seen three pretty significant outbreaks. Virus writers are feeding on the media attention that Blaster received. The first reaction, the Natchi virus, one that tried to fix infected Blaster love sand computers and protect those that hadn't been hit. The virus writer may have had good intentions, but poor execution. Next, the Dumaru Trojan. It arrived in email inboxes claiming it was a patch from Microsoft, a patch to protect you from other viruses. Companies like this are not going to be communicating via email about, you know, here's an attachment, you need to go stick this on your system right away. And then the so big worm. It arrives as an attachment. Its goal, to steal data. It's actually harvesting email addresses from your PC and sending those to some central location. Namely, SoBig is creating spam lists. As both businesses and consumers dig out from this virus mess, the prevention message is very clear. Run an up-to-date antivirus scanner and patch your operating system by going to windowsupdate.com. If you look at recent statistics, 62% of home users still do not have up-to-date antivirus software. And that is a big problem. Now, so big is actually not a new virus. It's a variant on an old worm that's been kicking around the net since January, but the latest iteration in its code has made this thing even more infectious, Michaela. Becky, remind me again, why is it that we keep getting infected? Are we not practicing safe surfing here or what? What's going on? Why well, does this keep happening to us? I, I know, I know. Why, why? <laughs> well, listen, for those of us who are aware of computer viruses, we get it. We can prioritize, manage running an AV program and patching all the time. But for those who are less aware or less computer savvy, it's a pretty big task with low priority rankings. Nonetheless, I'm preaching to the faithful here, but instructions for staving off all those viruses at techlive.com, Mick. Do your homework, <laughs> folks. Do your homework and save us all a headache. All right, thanks, Becky. Yep. And while you're at techlive.com, be sure to get protected yourself by checking out Becky's new book, Security Alert. You can, of course, find details on our website.